Uh, El Nino refers to the occasional appearance of warm sea surface waters in the eastern and central equatorial Pacific Ocean. The term El Nino was coined by Peruvian fishermen to describe this phenomenon, which usually occurs around December. And uh, it, it, uh, it is uh, uh, a phenomenon that uh, uh, intensifies once in few years and uh, leads to a dramatic drop in the fish catch, which is the reason why it was noticed by the local fishermen. Uh, it was later on discovered to be uh, a major oceanic phenomenon that occurs in that region. And it actually involves uh, a, a, an atmosphere-ocean interaction uh, that uh, in that the atmospheric rainfall patterns, the pressures, and the winds actually uh, are influenced by the sea surface temperatures, and which in turn affect the sea surface temperature and the currents. And they uh, uh, provide uh, uh, an indication of the atmosphere-ocean interactions in the region. Uh, on the other hand, the La Nina, which is an opposite situation, which indicates cold sea surface temperatures in the region, uh, is, is a counterpart of El Nino. El Nino and La Nina, though they are uh, confined to the equatorial Pacific Ocean, uh, their impacts are seen all around the world. And in fact, uh, these two events are, uh, are believed to be accounting for a large part of the year-to-year -year changes in the regional climatic uh, variations in many part of parts of the world. And these two events, uh, if uh, we, we, we get the capacity to predict them uh, well in advance, they can help us in predicting the climate variability in many parts of the world. What is the situation of El Nino in 2009? Uh, in 2009, we have an El Nino that uh, dev started developing in June this year. It is still continuing. It is well established now, and it is expected to continue until the first quarter of uh, uh, 2010, and we have already seen some impacts of this particular El Nino, which is considered to be a relatively weak to moderate intensity event, uh, and uh, it is uh, uh, considered to be uh, having already significant impacts in many parts of the world. Uh, but at the same time, we have to see, uh, we have to note that uh, the regional impacts are a result of a number of other factors in addition to El Nino. And we have to combine all those influences and work out the uh, regional impacts. WMO periodically uh, provides uh, an update on the El Nino situation based on uh, consensus among a number of uh, global prediction agencies and also experts, uh, and usually uh, provides a consolidated view of what the situation is in the El Nino region.